Guys, be careful. There are 10 types of the ladies who can really destroy your life. And in this video, I will share with you information about these fantastic women. I recommend you to watch this video and of course to leave your comments because I'm sure that you have met some of these ladies in your life and I'm very interested to know more about your experience. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, videos and let's get to know these fantastic women that can enter your life and destroy it. So the type number one is a mom addicted lady. So she communicates with her mom on a regular basis and they don't have one call a day, what is quite normal, yes? They discuss almost everything or everything. She shares every little detail about her life, about her lunch, about the process of teeth brushing. She shares every little detail of what is happening in her life or going to happen. I can say to you that actually when you start relationships with such lady you don't have a relationship between you and her but you have relationships between her her mom and of course you uh, you will never be good enough for them believe me and all the time her mom will be not satisfied with you so if you notice that a woman you like or woman you start dating with communicates too much with her mom it's a huge flag really guys pay attention to this detail and try to stop this communication from the very beginning i think that we are uh, all adult people here and we are responsible for our lives we must have respect for our parents but we are supposed to live our life and not to live our mother's life or whatever. The second type is quite interesting. She has too many friends. And now you may say to me, oh, Valentina, why? It's not a problem for me if she has too many friends. Well, I can say to you that it's a huge problem because every communication requires some investment. And when we communicate with our friends, we invest what? Of course, we invest our time and our energy and our emotions. And if she has too many friends, then she has nothing left for you. Because of course, she had her friends before you and she will have her friends after you. And of course, they will be the main priority for her. She won't place your relationships on the first place. Her friends will be on this first place, then maybe her parents and you will be on the third place if you're lucky enough. So if you notice that she is partying all the time, that her friends are inviting her there and here, that she is all the time having different chats with her, with her friends, that they have their uh, friends group chats, then it's a sign for you that she is not the right lady to start serious relationships. Relationships. When people want to start serious relationships, they are ready to concentrate on each other. They are ready to build relationships. They are ready for the commitment. And if they have too many people in their life who require them almost every minute, then I think there are no chances for you. So please pay attention. The third type is bossy lady. Most of you or some of you, I don't know, may like bossy ladies, but I'm sure that it's fun when it's a kind of sexual game. But if every day you have someone who says to you what is to do, you may experience huge problems. You are a man and I'm sure that you would like to be the leader in the relationships and in the family. So when you have a bossy woman who really give you comments, who always tells you that you've done something wrong, that you are not good enough and so on and so after, I'm sure that this little details and these little things, they will definitely destroy your life. So if you notice that the lady you are dating with is a bossy one, 
then it's time for you to stop any communication with her because anyway your communication will be destroyed by her hard character and you will not succeed but you will waste your time your love your energy your finances and etc and etc so please pay attention and avoid bossy ladies the first type she needs too much attention from different people. For example, you meet a nice girl and she is, I don't know, Instagram blogger. She posts different photos. She checks how many likes she got. She takes photos of herself all the time. She asks you to take photo of herself all the time. When you go with her to the restaurant or somewhere out, she looks around to pay attention. If someone paid attention to her, then it's a problem. Guys, if you notice it, it's a huge problem because she needs lots of attention and she will look for this attention and your attention will never be enough for her so basically you will never be enough for her and i don't see how you can develop relationships with this kind of women because actually they don't need relationships they just need someone who will admire them and they want to have as many admirers as possible so if you notice is that she is really a kind of narcissistic and that she needs lots of attention from many different people then it's not the right lady for you to start relationships with and the fifth type born addicted woman oh that's really crazy she is all the time on her telephone she all the time checks her instagram her messengers her whatsapp whatever she has i don't know one million calls as if she's the president of the united states of america and she is all the time on the telephone so it means that she has really bad problems with the concentration. So it's hard for her to concentrate on real life communication. And you are not a professional psychologist. You are not a specialist uh, who can help her. I recommend you to discuss this topic with her, to tell her that it's very important for you to communicate with her, to have at least some commitment. And you can ask her not to use telephone, at least when you are having your dates. But if you notice that it doesn't help, then it means that she is truly addicted to her telephone and it's better for you just to stop this communication. You know, when we are trying to change someone, we will definitely lose because someone can change only if he or she wants to change only if she wants to become a better person but if you come to her and say look girl i like you but you are phone addicted so please choose me or your phone believe me even if she will say to you that she of course she, she chooses you she will definitely choose her phone so if you notice that a woman is a phone addicted uh, person it's a sign that she has bad problems with the concentration and if a person has bad problems with the concentration it's not possible to build with this person anything can you imagine she will be cooking for you and then someone will call her or someone will text her she will not pay attention what she's doing in the kitchen and, and it it may lead to tragedies really to tragedies so if you don't want to have extra stress in your life then of course it's better to avoid such ladies the sixth type is she is too much into healthy lifestyle of course when you date her when you go out she's so beautiful she looks so great but you choose only vegan restaurants you choose only vegetarian restaurants for example you want to have a glass of beer and you want to have a really good steak and she says to you what are you going to eat dead animals are you going to drink alcohol i don't know it will bring to you low vibrations and blah 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 and so on 
So it's really great to have healthy lifestyle. It's great to eat healthy food. It's great to do sports. But it's really strange when people exaggerate it and when it becomes the main priority in their life. You know, I don't have anything against healthy lifestyle, but I think it's nice to have ice cream sometimes. It's nice to have a good steak sometimes. Sometimes it's really great to have a glass of good wine and to share it in a romantic atmosphere. So guys, if super exaggerated healthy lifestyle is fine with you, then of course it's your decision, it's your life. But if you don't want to live in total restrictions and refuse from meat, from beer, I don't know, from even from chips sometimes, why not? Then I don't recommend you to start communication with those ladies because your life will become drama and you will have different fights about food, about lifestyle. You want to spend some time watching football and she wants to go hiking, but you are so tired. You just want to watch football, but she says, no, we go hiking. And then when you disagree with her, the fight will start and so on and so after. So guys, Guys, I really recommend you to pay attention to the lifestyle a woman is having and to make your decisions according it. The seventh type is gossip girl. So you start dating a girl, she looks so nice, she's communicative and blah, 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 and so on. But then even from the first date, she starts to share with you some funny, interesting, but maybe a bit weird stories about her friends. And you like... Hmm, that's fun. She's so open with me. But then you meet again and again. She shares with you information and sometimes even intimate information about other people in her life. Then it means that this lady doesn't have anything interesting in her life. She doesn't find herself interesting. She doesn't think that she has an interesting personality. And actually, she doesn't live her life, but she lives the life of other people. So if you notice that your new date gossips too much, then it's a very good red flag for you to think about. Can you imagine to live with someone for two, three, five, ten years who doesn't take any care of her life, who doesn't care of her family, of her husband, but who cares of her neighbors, sisters, cousins, and blah, 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 and so after. So guys, I really recommend you to pay attention to this factor and of course to make the right decisions. And I want to remind you, if you are ready to change your life, if you are ready to start family and you are tired of endless online dating, then of course, I recommend you to contact me and we will schedule with you a free consultation call. I will share with you information about my personal matchmaking programs and we will develop with you your dating strategy. It's very simple to contact me. Just scan this call and it will forward you to my WhatsApp. Just send me a message. Hi, Valentina. Let's schedule a free uh, consultation call and I will respond to you. And in 24 hours, we can have with you a very nice communication, which may change your life. And the eighth type is negative thinker. So you may meet her for the first date and from the very beginning, you will realize that she is a negative thinker because everything is bad. The restaurant is bad. The weather is bad. The country is bad. The politics are bad. Everything is awful. The climate is awful. So everything is bad. Just bad, bad, bad. Uh, I don't know what you feel about such people, but my personal opinion is just not possible to move forward with those personalities because if she is a negative thinker, so she doesn't believe in success at all. And you know what? She will be not satisfied with you as well. She will always try to find something negative in you and in your personality. I don't know how it's possible to live with such people. So please pay attention to such ladies. And if you 
know that life is not only black and dark and awful and negative, but you know that life is different, then I think you will not find your happiness with the girls who are negative thinkers. And the ninth type, and actually this is the most uh, dangerous type, abusive ladies. You know, abusive ladies, they will all the time inform you about things which are wrong with you. Everything what you do is going to be wrong, you know. If you take her to this restaurant, she will say to you, oh, you haven't found anything better. If you suggest her to go somewhere to the park, then of course she will find something nice but actually not nice to say to you she will find something wrong in your looks she will find something wrong in your personality and of course she will tell it about you again and again and if you say to her like what are you doing why are you behaving like that then of course it's going to be your fault anyways so if you notice that someone is really abusive then just run away don't waste your time don't waste your energy run away way it's not possible to build strong and happy relationships with the abusive people it's just not possible and can you imagine if you will have children with her so your kids will have an abusive mom well i think that is the tragedy really tragedy so guys please be careful and the tense type a lazy girl yes guys Lazy people can really destroy our life. If they sleep till, I don't know, midday or even till 2 p.m., they are not interested in anything. They even forget to brush their teeth before they go to sleep. They don't have any ambitions. They are not going to achieve any goals. They just talk, talk and do nothing. Then it's a sign that she's a lazy girl. I don't know how it's possible to build relationships with someone who is lazy, who is doing actually nothing, who finds excuses all the time. So if you notice that a woman you are communicating with is actually a lazy woman, then there is no future with her, believe me. guys. I hope that you enjoyed information in this video. I hope that you find it really useful and I recommend you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to leave your comments, to like my videos and of course scan the code and contact me via WhatsApp if you want to hire me as your matchmaker and if you are ready to change your life. Thank you for watching me and see you soon. Bye.